Hey guys and gals, what's crack like and spicy here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. Don't have a whole lot going on today. Uh, me and my wife are headed into town. I've got to go to the storeroom. Um, I've got to try to find my Kydex sheets for my the new Kydex press that I built. And I got some um, the eyelets for the Kydex I got to try to find in my little box. Uh, went here the other day and could not get into it. Big old uh, yellow jacket nest was in the corner of the storeroom. A light that got lit up. Walked up to the door to unlock it. Looked up, just freaking like 30 yellow jackets just staring at me, waiting for me to make a move. Well, I hightailed out of there and got out of it quick. Neither say I ain't getting nothing out of my storeroom that day because I ain't have nothing to spray the walls with, but. We got that covered today. Got some wall spray. Yes. I will be taking care of those and getting to my storeroom. Are you gonna are you gonna help me open up the door, babe? No. No. Yeah. No. I knew she wasn't gonna do that. But she's gonna be filling it for me. Um I'll show you how I take care of a yellow jacket or wasp nest with some wall spray. This thing gets up to 22 feet that's plenty enough room for me so we're gonna pull up to the storeroom in just a little bit and we'll see what we need to do all right so there's the nest and uh no i am not that close i am zoomed in so yeah i need to take care of these so i can get into my sh into my building my storeroom Fine. <laughs> yeah. I kept oh. missing. One just flew off. Uh, and it's, and it's still got about two. Okay, two, so we'll go hit the nest again. Alright, so. Alright, I soaked it down. I kept missing the wind was blowing me. But, I think I got them all. Sprayed them down. So now we gotta open it up and go inside. I hate walls, I hate hornets, I hate anything that stings. And these little boogers, when they sting, they just keep keep pecking you, keep stinging. So I'm gonna let that soak in for a little bit and then we'll get in there and see what I can find. See y'all in just a little bit. Well, that was a bust. I did not find what I was looking for. I was trying to find my Kydex sheets and my uh my eyelets and i couldn't find them they are in a box somewhere packed up i ain't feel like uh, bringing all those boxes out <clears throat> so what i'm going to do is i will order some i will order some more and uh later on whenever we start moving some stuff out of the storeroom i'll find those so we're back at the house i want to show y'all something Found a neat little critter crawling across the road, and I love these things. Used to love them as a kid, and I see one every now and then. And every time I get a chance to catch one and, and play with it, I will catch it, play with it, and I'll turn it loose. So let's take a look and see what we got. This yeah, a little box turtle. Check him out. I want to show y'all what he looks like before I pick him up because as soon as I pick him up, he's going to close up in a shell. But they have some beautiful colors to them. Alright, let's pick him up. There he is. Now, <clears throat> this is a box turtle. Um, they do not belong in the water. They belong on land. So if you ever see a box turtle uh, crawling on the ground, don't pick it up and throw it in the water. 
I seen a YouTube video of a girl was like, oh, I'm saving the turtle's life, and threw it in water. They will not, they will not make it. They are not made for water. They are made for the land. But, um, neat little, little turtle. Um, it's got this little protective, um, little shell right in front. And whenever you mess with it, he will close up just like that. And the back of him is closed up. Oh, back of him is closed up. And he is he is protected in his little shell. But this is the little shell of the of the box turtle. Uh, they do not have webbed feet. They have um, they have little claws. So they can't swim. They're not going to swim. But I love these little things. I've always found these things fascinating. And he's not going to pop out until I put him on the ground, but uh, I gotta wait for Toby to leave and then uh, I'm gonna turn him loose in the woods so Toby don't get him. But whenever he opens up, I'll show y'all him walking off. Y'all can see the colors and stuff like that, but I love these things. I just wanna show y'all that. Um, like I said, I didn't find my uh, the stuff I was looking for. I'm sitting back in the back of the truck. I did not find my stuff I was looking for, um, so I will have to order some more, and that will be here, what is today, Tuesday, It'll probably be here Friday, if not Thursday, and then I can get working on uh, making a sheath for either one of my pistols or one of my knives, can't wait to get that started, I had a few people uh, want to know if it's going to work as far as the foam that I'm using, I could not find, I think, um, I couldn't remember if it was Backwoods Law or uh, World Without War Rule of Law was asking about the foam if it would, with me uh, heating that plastic up to 350 degrees, would it melt that foam? I tried to look it up and get some information on it. I could not do that, so uh, I will take your advice and I will do a little test strip and see what it does to the foam first before I do a big piece end up with a messed up uh, sheath. But we're going to try it out. As soon as that comes in, uh, tomorrow I've got to start uh, weeding on my garden. Uh, it has gotten way bad. We've had a lot of rain uh, last three or four days. I know a lot of you have not been getting a whole lot of rain, and I, man, I hate that for y'all um, because without this, without rain, your garden's going. It's going to be tough on your garden. You got to do a lot of watering, and sometimes it's not. It's not easy when you have a full schedule. Uh, luckily, for the last four or five days, we've had uh, little spot showers uh, come through, and it's been enough to water the garden where I haven't had to be watering it. But the grass has just been, the grass and weeds is overtaken. So, y'all can follow along with me tomorrow. I'll show you some of the stuff that I got going on in my garden, and I'll be getting that thing weeded out so it can look a whole lot better. And I got some stuff I want to plant. Um, to see if I can still make it like I have some some summer some summer squash I'm wanting to plant and I want to try to see if it's too late to plant okra uh, if y'all have anything about that leave it down in the description below tell me you know I don't waste your time or you should still have enough time I'm in South Arkansas I think I'm in zone 8a I do believe or 8b I can't remember but we have a long growing season it don't get we're not going to get a frost until maybe December is when we're going to get our first frost. So I should have enough time with it now being warm enough for the seeds to germinate. So we'll see. But tomorrow I'll be working on the garden and maybe be working on uh, a few more things. Y'all be sure to follow along. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Until then, remember, everybody has a little backwoods in them. I'll catch you later.